Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Natagata, aka Natalie. I don't know why she sounds like a Richie Marvel's like assistant from Naruto, but uh, that's what we're going to be looking at today. So, uh, she has, or first of all, for those that don't know, she is a model slash influencer, whatever that means. I don't know what influencer means at all. She's just a model. I mean, she, I don't think she ever influences people. Uh, you know, I was creepy on her profile and I saw that she had like a Twitch. Uh, she does a little bit of YouTube. She has like her own influencer page, and I was like, you know what? Let's let's look into it and uh, see who she really is as a person. So I will get to the OnlyFans review, but I just like to give a little overview of who that person is to begin with. So uh, Instagram, she has 2.1 million followers. Uh, profile, kind of cute, kind of ugly. Uh, okay, no, she's one of those Instagram models where she likes to like downplay herself a little bit just to show that she's humble. Uh, first of all, she's not. If you, yeah, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so I saw that her profile had a Twitch, and I'm like, you know what? Let's look at her Twitch and see uh, what she has. So I looked at her most recent video, and bro, this bitch played Call of Duty for seven hours. Like, holy shit! Like, I and I know what you guys are thinking, like, oh, she's a video game girl, dude. Like, that's the girl I want. That's Bay. She has a personality, bro. Like, that's what I want. Um. Quite unfortunately, that's uh, you know that's the opposite of what she is. So I'm gonna play a little bit of her uh, Twitch clip, and uh, I don't think I've ever met anyone as dead as her. I like I thought I was watching George Floyd as a person. Hashtag dark joke. I'm trying to make light of the situation. I know it's fucked up, rich George Floyd. So let's play a little bit of her uh, gameplay clip. So uh, here's her starting, and uh, yeah, I mean she has a cool room, but. Uh, I feel like I'm watching literally a, a, a an Instagram model just trying to get into that scene, but uh, you know, and I was watching various clips of her. Uh, like I said, I did my fair share of stalking prior to all this, and uh, she's pretty fucking boring. I'm sorry to tell this to you guys. So, but again, we're here for OnlyFans, so we don't really care who she is as a person. So let's get right into that. Uh, her OnlyFans has 175 photos and 30 videos and to subscribe $15 a month a um, little s steep on the price I mean I know some of them cost 40 but $15 I think is like a decent price if they have a decent amount of content so obviously when I gave you those numbers you probably felt like wow wow that's a lot of content I'm excited to see what she has unfortunately though you guys are gonna hate me you're gonna hate her more than you hate me uh, her OnlyFans is Instagram 2.0 uh, what do I mean by that? Is that if you were to grab, in fact, <laughs> I really want to do this, but I'd, I'd probably get banned if I did it. If I were to make an Instagram and post all her content from her OnlyFans, it wouldn't be any different from her current OnlyFans. So some of her images are duplicates. There are no nudes right off the bat. So in case you're wondering if there's nudes or whatever, uh, no, there isn't. Not not one bit. That's what I mean by like it's an Instagram 2.0. The most like revealing pic you'll get. And it's a handful of pictures out of the 175 photos, like two pictures of her just kind of covering her tits. Whatever, she has some of that in her Instagram. It's not like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's nothing that's like, oh wow, it's worth $15 a month to get for. So, uh, pictures, if you're following her just to get more of her Instagram, then I get it, awesome, then you're gonna like the profile. But if you're looking to bust your nut, AKA see some nudes, her OnlyFans does not have that, so. Just telling you that off the bat. Uh, in terms of her videos, she has 30 videos and her longest video is a minute and 47 seconds and a minute and 22 seconds and the rest just devolve to 10 to five second videos. Now we're gonna react to f her first two videos and uh, I think I can post this without blurring it. It's pretty bad and we'll, we'll, you'll see what I mean. So uh, here, let's play it really quick. So here's Natalia Garbage Botto. Uh, oh God, with that techno music. Oh, heck yeah. We're in the club, dude. Look at me in my mansion, man. I'm walking down my fence. I'm so fancy. Model influencer, baby. Subscribe for me for $15. I'm not going to react to the whole thing, though, by the way. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Look at me walking in my rented yard. Okay, we're stopping that. But see, that's the, the, the gist of her video. So that's her longest video. And her second longest video is the exact same thing. Uh, different outfit, but the exact same thing where she's walking around like a backyard 
and like you know being narcissistic and be like yeah check me out model influencer follow me man um and the rest are like i said are pretty short videos uh every single video from those two is just twerking videos that you can find on her instagram and i'm not saying every single video is on her instagram but i'm talking about like the content like there's nothing that is like worth more than what you're paying or what you're already seeing on instagram so everything's just a twerking video so I'm not gonna react to them because literally there, there's just her on the beach twerking, her in a patio twerking, her at a party twerking, her at her house twerking, and it's all for, uh, you know, five seconds, ten seconds. There's even a video of her twerking for one second. What? 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 Why would I want to watch a video with one second? Does, again, I always say this for people that have one second videos. Why? Does it make any sense? So, um, if her Instagram is worth it, no. God damn it. If her, I get confused because her OnlyFans reminds me of Instagram. If her OnlyFans is worth it, it is not. Uh, even if it was five dollars, it's not worth it. Even if it was two dollars, it's not worth it. It's literally another Instagram that you don't want to pay for. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if I cross-checked every single photo, I could find that the majority of them are in her Instagram. But I just noticed that some of them are Instagram, and I'm just not gonna be that, you know, detective and waste my time or breath on that type of shit. So. Uh, not worth it and it is a scam uh, so sorry if you guys got it for anyone's potentially trying to get it do not get it uh, there's way better people and she definitely I mean she's baking some bank off this I guess people want to see her non nude pictures that she posts on Instagram too so that sucks so sorry guys if you guys have any people that you guys want me to check on OnlyFans leave in the comments below uh, follow me on Instagram I should start posting more I'm just scared cuz like that's my 10th Instagram account and it keeps getting banned so uh with time, I'm gonna get better of all this. I still don't know how to edit uh, my flow. I'm still not that good at that. I'm trying to see exactly like what to talk about. I'm not sure if I should like talk about their background and then their OnlyFans, or their OnlyFans and their background, or try to mix it both in between. Uh, easier said than done. So sorry, guys. I will get better at this. And uh, please subscribe and so get the notification bell. All right, later.